I welcome you to a program designed to bless the revealer of secrets and master of divine mysteries. Yehovah, Yeshua, Jesus. Let us share this blessing. Borhu et Adonai Hamevorach. Blessed is the Lord who is blessed. Barhu et Adonai Hamevorach Leolam Ed. Blessed is the Lord Yehovah who is blessed forever and forever. Amen. Come with me now, beloved, as we enter the Devar Adonai, the word of the Lord, and allow his transforming word to enter you. Today, beloved, let us hear the cherished and comforting and powerful words of the psalmist in chapter 91, Tehillim. Yoshev Beseter El Yon. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Elohai Eftachbo My God in him I will trust. Kihu Yatsilcha mi pach yakus mi hauot. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Beevrato Yasechlach. He shall cover you with his feathers. Vitachat knafav techse. And under his wings you shall take refuge. Zina vesochera amito. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Lotira mi pachad laila. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Mechets ya uf yoma. Nor of the arrow that flies by day. Midever. Ba'ofel yahalach. Nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness. Miketev yashud tzoharayim. Nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Yipor mitzidcha. A thousand may fall at your side. Elef urvava miminecha. And ten thousand at your right hand. Elecha lo. Yigash. But it shall not come near you. Rock be'enecha tabit. Only with your eyes shall you look. Veshilu mat rasha'in tireh. And see the reward of the wicked. But how will this come about, beloved? And why will this be? Listen to the Lord's response. Because you have made the Lord Yehovah my refuge. Even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you. Nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Look now, beloved, at the powerful declaration that God makes over those who make Him their dwelling place. What is it He will do for us? For He shall give His angels charge over you. To keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up. 
lest you dash your foot against a stone. God then declares the power one possesses when they dwell in Him. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. God goes on to tell us that He will deliver us and why He will deliver us. Because He has set His love upon me, God says. Therefore, I will deliver him, and I will set him on high. Because he has known my name. And what must we do, beloved? God tells us. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. And what will God do then, beloved? I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him. And show him my salvation, Yeshua. Indeed, beloved, we can all agree with the words of King David as he cried out to God in Psalm 71, O oh Lord, be my strong dwelling place, my strong refuge. <laughs> 